Hi guys, good morning. Today is Friday the 30th and I'm opening my shop the day after tomorrow. I am so nervous, you have no idea. I like, I reach a new level of being nervous in which I don't feel a thing. Today my to-do list is, it has no end, like most freelancers to-do list. Um, but I think today I need to work on uh, a patron challenge I did uh, to, to myself um, in which every time I talk about patron, you guys, it's, it's not, I feel like there's a huge pressure <laughs> going on that I want you to be a patron. And no, I, I, I don't wanna force you to be a patron. I generally wanna talk to you about what I'm doing, but I feel like every time I talk about patron, it's like, <laughs> support me on patron. You don't have to, by the way. What you're already doing is enough. Um, but I have an illustration club on Patreon for the $1 uh, pledge. And um, I decided that I wanted to draw this in your style sort of challenge. And I decided that it would be fun if we all together collectively uh, drew the, um, ba -ba 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 -ba, the Lady of Shallot by John William Waterhouse. It's a very gorgeous painting and I will love, I just wanted to see how people approach this challenge. Later on, I think I have to take a picture of a few items. For example, I'm going to sell those pins and I had to take pictures of those pins for the website um, and uh, a bunch of other products that are not listed yet. So for example, these fabric bags and a few actually CDs that I will be selling. So I think the website is officially done, but there's a few things that I need to tweak before the launch. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really nervous. And um, there's a few things that I need to do uh, over the weekend. I wanted to just disappear during the launch and not check the computer because I think I will be just too like worried about that everything is going to be okay. Um, I think I will have to be really present uh, during the launch just to make sure that everything going, is going smoothly and answering people's questions if someone has a question about every, uh, something. So it's going to be a very intense Sunday. I, I did like um, Excel, like a spreadsheet of all of you guys who applied for the assistance position, for the assistance position. I need help, you guys. <laughs> I need help with the shop and I need um, help managing the shop. So I open a position for um, a personal assistant, more like a shop, online shop assistant. And I received so many submissions and I just wanna take the time to read every single one of them very carefully and make sure that I'm, um, I'm interviewing the the right people for the position. But yeah, of course that takes time because I need to reread the resume many times and email. So yeah, uh, that's, that's something that I need to do probably on Saturday. But yeah, thank God I have coffee now. So let's have coffee and tackle this bastard. guys um so the ikea can i see you on the face yeah very flattered angle action so i just talked to the delivery guy and um i order a few furniture from ikea and it's going to arrive right now <laughs> that, so that's um that's just stressful enough uh but the cool cool thing is that these guys just arrived i order as you guys remember do you remember? It's it's fine if you don't remember. Uh, these postcards uh, as a way to say thank you for everyone who is doing purchases, making a purchase, purchasing stuff from the shop. And this is like a small text and then I wrote for you guys. Um, I can, I don't mind handling the first one because as you can see, there's like a small um, marks from the packaging. So this one, as you can see, has like marks and it's it's fine i don't care uh but it looks so cool so i order them in two set of colors because i don't know i like variety and i'm so happy
¿Lo apretaste? Uh -huh. sí. ah. O sea, se fue, ya es. Sí. Uh, I was just like thinking if I should probably film a video with my hair like this, but honestly, right now, I don't care about anything <laughs> because so we launched the website at around 8 a.m. and at 8:20 the website crashed because you guys are so awesome uh you broke you broke the internet you broke my website <laughs> so i had to wait until around 9 a.m for my friend who's uh who called the website to fix it and apparently it was a mixture between so many people going to the website at one point and also that the images were, uh, were very heavy and that was my fault so right now we're trying to fix this uh, fix the situation it's probably around noon I'm so nervous, you guys. I've been like with a heavy stomach ache throughout the morning because I'm so nervous and I was just like, this is like the worst nightmare of someone who's launching a website or a business or a project, whatever you can think of, <laughs> whatever it is what you're launching, the worst thing that could happen is that you crash the thing. But at some point I was just like, you know what, there's not, there's actually nothing I can do right now. So I might as well, what is this by the way? What, what is this? So I might as well just like, I can't have a good time because this is actually horrible and every passing minute it feels like forever, but I might as well just like enjoy this moment and talk to you on social media and making sure that everything's fine like in terms of like customer support and giving updates. But um, if you're going through this situation, my love, you're not the only one. <laughs> like, uh, I wish you guys were here because it's just like, it sucks. Uh, thank God Eddie's here, but it's just like, it sucks to be going through all of this without you in the same room. It's hard to explain, it's hard to, yeah, anyway, you know what I, you know what I mean. Thank you. Anything else? Uh, yes, can I have um, one peanut butter cookie and I think there's... see if I can hi guys good morning today is Tuesday yesterday last night Ed and I stayed here and up until 7 p.m. or something like that we decided not to have lunch skip lunch and just like power through and try to pack as many orders as possible and that was a lot <laughs> let me tell you uh, today I am this like very in-between zone of feeling super happy 
and tired at the same time. Um, I missed packing orders so much. And today, you guys, we have a pretty packed day. I'm trying to like make sense, but I feel like tired drunk. So today, guys, we have to pack orders. I have to start interviewing assistants. I feel really nervous because I feel like I have no much experience interviewing people. Um, but I really need help at the shop because yeah, I need help. I am so tired. <laughs> so as you guys, um, if you guys don't know, I decided to hire a part-time assistant here in Brooklyn. And I'm really excited because I love working with people. I love, um, just like sharing my space with other humans. <laughs> and I feel like you can create so much more when you're working with friends and with, uh, people alongside you. Anyway, so today and during this week, I am going to interview a few candidates. Um, and that's the plan for today. So yesterday, oh, hi guys, uh, I'm on focus. That's fine, that's fine. So these are all the parcels that we did yesterday. I'm trying not to flash anyone's address. Um, so we applied for the free collection from USPS. So they're going to collect all of these babies tomorrow. And um, this is my first order from today, from Vivian. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much guys for all your, like you don't care if I'm on focus, right? Yeah. Uh, thank you so much to all of you for your, um, it's, uh, God, I'm so tired. It's been so crazy to read your comments and just like um, your reaction with the idea. I, I knew it was a nice idea. I know it's always nice to recycle and repurpose, but like you never know how people are going to react. And I, I am not a good communicator. I, I think that's why I'm an illustrator because I think I, I, think I communicate better with uh, pictures instead of words. So I was just like, man, if I use the wrong word, I might this screw, like I might screw this up. <laughs> But yeah, I'm so happy that you guys like the idea and um, I really want this to work out. I really like this. I want this to, I want you guys to like this um, because I think it's such a nice idea. Do I need to say anything else? Oh yeah, I'm drinking coffee. Look at that coffee, man. It's just like talking to God with all of that. Oh my God, I'm not making sense. I hope you understand that joke. Anyway, uh, I love you guys. Wish me luck during the day of packing. I will talk to you once I go to the coffee shop to interview this wonderful human being. Hi guys, good afternoon, good morning. Anyway, happy Friday. Today's Friday <laughs> and uh, we have a project to do. So we finally, finally catch up with all of your orders. So thank you so much for all of your patience. Um, unfortunately, I did an oopsie because <laughs> I made a mistake, you guys. I, when I did this, I was super, 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 super tired. And um, I had to change. So do you remember, I am the worst at explaining things, it's insane. Do you remember when I did those silly doggo clay pins, the handmade ones? So uh, those pins are $20. Um, it was a price that I set when I went to Mocha and I'm like, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a good price. Uh, of course, it's expensive for any t uh, pen, but since it's a handmade pen, I'm like, yeah, $20 is fine. And I did nine of them last last time. And <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> but instead of changing how much I did, like the inventory, the quantity, I changed the price. So I changed it to $9 pens and I left... 20 pins. So of course I sold not only cheaper, but more pins that I had available. So now I had to do the pins for those of you guys who order pins and there's non-existent pin. Anyway, I have to do the pins. Let's do the pins together because otherwise it will be too boring for me to do them by myself. So keep me company, my loves, while I do this.
a backpack with another large container, star subjects, or random search. Hi guys, good morning. Happy Monday! Uh, I just got to the office today. I decided to wake up one hour later because I am so tired. Uh, but the cool thing is that we started the day with the right food, so to speak, because I'm listening to good old Stevie Wonder. You guys been asking... No, I'm lying. No one is asking. Uh, but I wanted to share <laughs> that's some real honesty um, What's the current situation with the Challenge uh, So today I'm going to listen to Stevie Wonder music of my mind again first time listen to good old Stevie And later on I will listen to the cars the cars which I have no idea what this is all about And also I wanted to just appreciate guys look at this beautiful and majestic rubber plant this is my first time having a rubber plant and I've always wanted to have one, but they're insanely toxic to cats. So um, this is why I kept this one, this baby slash bastard here in my office. And look at how luscious and gorgeous it looks. Um, I've noticed, oh, by the way, today they're going to come and pick up these parcels. Um, thank you so much, guys, by the way, for all your support with the shop. Um, I Anyway, yeah, thank you. Yeah, I always say that, but thank you guys. Um, I realized that the less time, the less attention I put to plants, the better they behave, the better they are. Um, I used to be really like on my plants, like on top of my plants, like, is it okay? Is it okay? Yeah, I don't know. Should I water this baby again? Should I just like cut the dead leaves? Should I move it around and blah, blah, blah. And I was so like on my plants that I kept kill them I it's not that I kill um, god how can I explain this what I'm trying to say is I've noticed that my plants are happier when I'm not so much on top of them all the time I mean of course I care about them but I'm not like daily on top of them can you tell today's a very hard English day for me <laughs> anyway so today guys I need to seriously catch up with my email because now I need to take care of my main email address and my nice humans email address so yeah that's going to be really intense thank god this is my last week working by myself because next week uh my gorgeous assistant is going to start working with me and i'm so excited um about that i'm so happy thank you so much guys for all of you who applied and um uh, all of the lovely people that I had the the lucky and the the amazing chance to interview it was a really hard decision to make I know everybody says like oh my god like cliche it was so hard to pick me 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 but yeah it was it was honestly such a difficult decision to make anyway so uh, later on once I catch up with my emails I need to put um, I need to assemble a couple of orders that I left pending from last week and hopefully later on I could um, make some progress with my sketchbook because and this is the thing I'm sure you guys saw yesterday what I was working on, but this week I have a sketchbook tour set scheduled uh, for my patrons and I realized I had nothing to show. So <laughs> way to go. Yeah. So um, today I need to work on these illustrations and like paint them at least a little, a little bit so I can take the pictures uh wednesday because that usually is the day where i do all the patron admin stuff uh so yeah let's get cracking <laughs> i've always wanted to say that <laughs> i just so sorry about the noise by the way i just realized that i haven't shown you my space in a while and last week it was super chaotic so 
These are the orders that we're going to ship today. And these are the few t-shirts that are um, remaining. How do you say that? The few t-shirts that we still have available. Maybe this for you guys is super messy, but for me it's actually super tidy considering how crazy it was last week. Um, and these are a few t-shirts that I bought two weeks ago at the charity shop. And I'm so happy. I still have to clean them and go to the washing center. Uh, but yeah, there's another pile of t-shirts that I had to wash over there. And right now, my loves, I am packing orders. Today, I'm packing Lian Lung, your order, baby. And she ordered a poop t-shirt, the B17. Um, this was something that I actually thought of because since every t-shirt is different, my loves, um, I don't know if you guys remember when we did this sticker, I had to create like a code in order to distinguish each t-shirt from the other. So I don't know if you, is this interesting for you guys? Uh, so each t-shirt has its own code. So for example, this is the poop uh, B19. Uh, I don't know if you can see, no, you can't see a thing. I'm so sorry guys. This is the thing with a manual focus camera. So this is the B19. This is the B21 because even though all the t-shirts are different, when you see them on a picture, it's very, it will be super easy to confuse or like to, yeah, I think, I think that's the word. It confuse one t-shirt with the other because um, yeah, they all look alike, but they're all different. So that's why we did this like code system to distinguish all the t-shirts. Um, and I've been using this recycling paper that we got back in Hastings. It's super lively, it's recycled, and I just love the feeling that it gives to an order once you like order something. And I've been using these stickers. I don't know if you guys remember when we did them together uh, to seal the order. So that's what I'm doing today. Um, I just shipped the orders that had uh, the Dogo clay pin pending because yeah, I forgot to make them. <laughs> Thank you so much for all of you who waited for that order, by the way. wondering why what it was taking so long for the postman to arrive and I just realized I never schedule the pickup for the orders that's how tired I am anyway but the cool thing is that I made some serious progress on the painting situation so at least I painted um, all these sketches and I think either tomorrow or on Wednesday I'm going to uh, draw on top of them. I know for you it doesn't make any sense whatsoever what I'm showing to you because it's just like a blob of colors but it's so cool. Oh my god I just realized you're not going to see the final results of these illustrations but it's fine I guess it's fine. So tomorrow I'm going to edit this video something that I'm not looking for because god you can't you didn't even see my face anyway uh, <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I need to edit this bastard. God! See you tomorrow, guys. Have an amazing evening. Bye. <sighs> Hi, guys. So I hope you enjoy that video. Uh, I'm about to export it now, but I wanted to officially say goodbye. Before you leave, please don't leave. Keep watching. Um, I just wanted to thank you once again. I know you're already probably super sick of me saying this, but thank you so much for your support, for support with um, the shop and all of the comments that you guys have just like written and across all social media and YouTube. You're, you're so lovely. Thank you so much. And also I wanted to 
give um, a big, huge, insanely amazing shout out to all of my patrons because they were the ones who allowed me to have my shop closed for so long and who uh, kept me company throughout this entire uh, nice humans process, like buying the t-shirts and like figure out how to do screen printing. They were holding my hand throughout this entire time. And I just wanted to thank you patrons for all, like generally I would have possibly being able to do this without you guys. So thank you so much for all your support and um, for keeping me company all this time. Uh, that's it for this week. Today, the day you're watching this Friday, I'm going to take the day off so I can rest and sleep and probably go with Ed to a museum and um, having a very chillaxed weekend ahead. Oh God. Um, anyway, I love you guys. So freaking, you have no idea. You have no idea. I love you. Have an amazing Friday and weekend ahead. And I'll see you next week. Bye, guys. <laughs> Why am I like this? Why?